right. It is Thursday, August 30th, 2018 at 5.23 p.m. Let's take a look at the weather. All right. This is the Pacific. Here's Hurricane Norman. He is a Category 4. Maximum sustained winds of 130 knots or 150 miles per hour. Minimum central pressure of 937 millibars, located at 17.5 north and 118.8 west. Movement west at 7 knots or 8 miles per hour. There's also a disturbance 1 with 40% chance of cyclone formation at 48 hours. Disorganized showers and thunderstorms located several hundred miles southwest of the southwestern coast of Mexico and associated with an area of low pressure. Environmental conditions are expected to be con conductive of, for gradual development and a tropical depression is likely to form this weekend or early next week with the system as the system moves west north westward away from the coast of Mexico. Formation chance through 48 hours is a medium at 40 percent and a formation chance through five days is a high at 80 percent. All right also Miriam will be headed northward north and westward. Hurricane Miriam, Thursday, August 30th, 2018. She, her current location is 15.7 north and 141.6 west. Maximum sustained winds of 85 miles an hour. Movement north, northwest at 8 miles an hour. Alright, hopefully this will keep going north and not affect Hawaii at all. Alright, let's take a look at the Atlantic. Disturbance. One zero percent chance of cycle formation in 48 hours. A tropical wave located over the North Central Caribbean Sea is producing a large area of cloudiness and thunderstorms extending from Hispaniola northwestward across the northeastern Caribbean Sea and adjacent Atlantic waters. This activity is forecast to spread westward to west northwestward, but strong upper level winds are expected to prevent any significant development of this system during the next several days. Environmental conditions could become more conductive when the system reaches the eastern Gulf of Mexico early next week. Regardless of development, this system could produce enhanced rainfall across portions of Hispaniola, the Bahamas, the Turks and Caicos, and Florida until early next week. Formation chance through 48 hours is low, near 0%, and formation chance through 5 days is low at 10%. Also, we got 6. Potential Tropical Cyclone 6. Maximum sustained winds at 25 knots or 30 miles an hour. Minimal central pressure of 1,007 millibars. Located 12.9 north and 19.4 west. Movement west 8 knots or 9 miles per hour. Formation chance through 48 hours is a high at 80%. And formation chance through 5 days is a high at 90%. Alright, this is the one that we're going to keep an eye on in the Atlantic. Alright. This is Vendusky, Vendusky, uh this is the rain precipitation, and we're taking a look at a forecast to see if there's any storm off of Africa. You see there, it seems to be, there could be a developing storm there forming, and this is out on Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday. This is on Wednesday, this is Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. It appears that it will, if it develops, it'll probably stall in the middle of the Atlantic and possibly head out northward and eastward away from the United States. Hopefully nothing develops, but if something does, hopefully it does not reach the United States. All right, let's take a look at satellite imagery. Right now off the coast of Africa, this is what we're keeping an eye on right now. This storm right here. Hopefully it does not develop into anything, but always good to keep an eye out on that. Also here, um, the rain here around the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico is getting larger. Um, hopefully it does not develop and also uh, across the Gulf, there's a lot of moisture in this area right now. It just keeps increasing. Also, around Missouri and Illinois, there's a storm happening. Um, I heard that there was a power outage that happened earlier in the week. Pray for those people there. 
that everything gets back to normal. All right, here we see Norman out in the Pacific, heading out westward. All right, so there's a lot of moisture in the Atlantic right now, the Gulf and the Caribbean. So keeping an eye on all of these systems is very important. Here we see the all right off the coast of Africa, the precipital rain. It's starting to take a little bit of a cyclonical movement going in a circle. Hopefully it does not turn into anything, but always good to keep an eye on that. All right, always be prepared for hurricane season because we are starting to get right in the middle of it. Very active Atlantic right now. Everything's starting to wake up. A lot of moisture and rain in the Gulf and a lot of moisture and rain in the Caribbean. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. Hit the like button and subscribe. And have a good one.